What impact can the first few lines of a poem have on the reader? In this lesson, you will find the purpose of the hook by identifying the way a poet pulls readers into the text. So let's review. A hook is the beginning of a text. In a short text, it might be the first sentence. In an essay, it might be the opening paragraph. A hook in writing is designed to act just like a fish hook you might use to go fishing. Just like a fisherman throws the hook into the water and tries to lure a fish towards the boat, an author starts off his or her writing by luring the reader in and trying to convince them to continue reading. Other types of media that use hooks are movies and TV. Your favorite TV show might hook you in by reviewing key ideas from the previous show, or a movie might include action-packed scenes right from the beginning to gain your interest. Some common hooks include 1. Asking a question 2. Starting with a famous quote or 3 using imagery. A common mistake when studying this topic is missing the hook because it does not directly hook you as an individual. Some hooks are going to be more interesting to you than others. Writers try hard to hook their readers, but not every hook works for every person. In order to find the hook, focus less on your own interests and more on how the author is trying to introduce a topic, a speaker, or a conflict right at the start of the poem. Let's start by reading the first stanza. While we read, we should be considering what the poet is making us think about at the start of the poem. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. It seems to me that the speaker here is someone who's trying to make a decision. In lines 2 to 3, the speaker tells us that he or she is upset that they're only one person and cannot be in two places at once. So the speaker just looks down both roads and strains to see as far as possible. Now that we have read and thought about stanza 1, we need to ask ourselves, what strategy is the poet using to draw readers in? As I read, I automatically started to relate to the speaker and to his or her dilemma. I was thinking to myself, which road is the speaker going to choose? This is how the poet is trying to draw me in, by presenting a conflict that the speaker faces. As the reader, I am hooked in and want to know which road the speaker is going to travel on and which one he or she is not going to take. I will write a note about the hook next to stanza 1. The poet is trying to hook readers in by presenting a dilemma. Which road will the speaker choose? How will he or she make that choice? I want to continue reading now that I've been drawn into the speaker's dilemma. That's how I know I found this poet's hook. Did you see what I did? I followed these steps. 1. Reread stanza 1. What are readers thinking about at the start of the poem? 2. Ask yourself, what strategy is the poet using to draw readers in? And 3. Write one sentence describing how the poet creates a hook right from the start of the poem. In this lesson, you have learned how to find the purpose of a hook by identifying the way a poet pulls readers into the poem.